Epilepsy is a brain condition in which nerve cell activity is disturbed. The disturbance causes seizures in various forms. Seizures could be in the form of stiffening of body, jerking or fits, collapsing or other symptoms. Emergency help should be taken if the person faces seizure for the first time or is severely injured due to collapsing. Also, continuous and long seizures can be a cause of emergency and should be treated by medical professionals as soon as possible. There are many different types of seizures. Tonic-clonic seizure causes collapsing, difficulty in breathing, losing consciousness, jerking and biting cheek or tongue. Petit mal or absences are very short but can happen multiple times in a day. It causes staring blankly or mild jerking. Focal seizures can cause strange feeling or sensations like weird smells or taste, tingling of limbs and twitching of body parts. Other type of focal seizures can lead to making repetitive movements or making strange noises. Seizure called status epilepticus is severe, causing long unconsciousness with multiple seizure episodes at a time. Causes of seizures are usually disturbances in electrical activities in brain is the usual cause is the cause of epilepsy which can be caused by injury, infection or tumour in brain. Deprivation of brain from oxygen and excessive use of drugs and alcohol may also be possible reasons for epilepsy. Existing disease can be triggered by missing medications, stress and fatigue, lack of sufficient sleep, use of alcohol, deficiency of vitamins, exposure to harsh light or noise, starvation or hypoglycemia. To treat epilepsy, anti-epileptic drugs like carbamazepine are usually prescribed to control seizures. Mechanism of action of anti-epileptic drugs is not clearly known. However, it is known that they attach themselves to the nerve cell membrane and block the channels of the cell. All anti-epileptic drugs have independent way of action. For example, some block the calcium channel that is required to send messages from one cell to another cell. This helps to reduce the electrical activity across neurons leading to lesser episodes of seizures. Vagus nerve stimulation This is a complementary treatment given with medications as it takes long time to be effective. A small electronic device that regularly sends mild electric pulse to the brain is implanted near the collarbone. This helps in controlling the length and severity of seizures. Surgery The part of the brain that causes seizure is removed or separated from other parts of the brain with surgical procedure. Diet changes High fat and low carbohydrate diet can help to reduce the seizure episodes and their severity. This diet leads to production of decanoic acid instead of glucose as the final product in the body. Decanoic acid is believed to control the activity of some receptors of neurons, thereby reducing the chances of seizure episodes. Self-care in epilepsy Take medicines regularly. Do not miss follow-ups with the doctor. Maintain a notebook of seizures that includes date, time, type and length of each episode. This can be useful to the doctor for diagnosis and further treatment. Regular exercise is very important. Exercise helps to get sound sleep, control stress and emotional disturbances, helps build confidence, memory and concentration. It also helps to relieve pain and side effects of the medications taken for epilepsy. However, avoid exercises like swimming and those that can cause potential injuries in case of a sudden seizure episode. Wear protective aids and take precautions to avoid injuries. Do not perform any activities requiring fire or electricity on your own as they can be a possible danger in case of a seizure attack. These can be done when other members are around who can take actions in case of emergency. Control the triggers to avoid frequent seizure attacks. For example, avoid getting exposed to harsh noise or light. Caretaker can help the person with epilepsy by Know the instances and conditions when to call emergency and what to do in each case. Discuss these things in detail with the doctor. Keep a note if required. Do not leave the person alone at the time of a seizure episode. At the time of seizure, loosen all their clothes and accessories. Loosen the hair if tied up tightly. Do not restrain or forcefully remove the person in case of an episode. 
it can cause injuries and muscular strain. Move away excess crowd to ensure good air circulation. Do not put anything, food or water in the person's mouth until he or she recovers completely. After recovery, inform the person that they had a seizure episode and how it was in a casual manner. Make sure not to scare them. Help the person keep a notebook for the seizure episodes. Keep all surroundings safe of sharp objects or other harmful things so as to prevent further injuries in case the person collapses.